welcome to a new video from hospitalista channel and in this video this is a ventilator screen for one of our patients in icu uh, so please to watch this video i assume you know mechanical ventilation i assume you watched our course on mechanical ventilation from a beginner to pro if you have not and you're not familiar with mechanical ventilation i'll put a link for that course in the description here we had this patient on pressure control mode of ventilation it's not showing here the mode the mode usually it's here but it's hidden uh we don't have the full screen and we've not captured the whole screen but i tested my resident i told him this patient is pulling tidal volume that's larger than what he's supposed to get based on his ideal body weight we wanted to keep him at six mil per kg of his ideal body weight and this was larger than that so i told him please work with the ventilator to drop his tidal volume so i'll stop here and i want you to think what you should do to change the tidal volume to drop to drop tidal volume in a patient who who is on pressure control mode of ventilation so think about it i will not show the solution now i'll bring another screen now to just refresh your memory watch this and then try to solve the issue after that and we'll give you the solution so to refresh your memory there is a very important equation everybody wants to understand mechanical ventilation should know it by heart is that proximal airway pressure which is the pressure provided by the ventilation during inspiration is usually equivalent to the flow multiplied by resistance right so basically tidal volume in pressure control mode ventilation which is the volume being delivered during inspiration will definitely depends on two main things the flow rate the faster the flow the larger the tidal volume right so that's one thing so it makes sense to decrease tidal volume and pressure control mode one thing the first thing you could do is decrease flow and decreasing flow is we don't have direct control on the resistance but we do have a direct control on the proximal airway pressure which is in pressure control mode is the inspiratory pressure so simply by decreasing this right you can decrease the flow also the other way that decide how much tidal volume we get is the inspiratory time how much time we are receiving this flow at this rate so the smaller the time the smaller the volume so two ways here to decrease tidal volume in pressure control mode one important thing to understand that we have peep right which is the baseline positive pressure during inspiration and expiration and the proximal airway pressure is basically is the increase above the peep so if you want to come down on this peep make sure you don't come down on the peep if you come down let's say let's say you have 15 of proximal airway pressure and and uh, let's say 20 and 10 of peep so if you come to drop this to 15 and this to 5 really you have not changed much the gap still 10 so you really do did not decrease the proximal error pressure still around 10 so want to make sure you decrease the gap that what we mean by decreasing the proximal error pressure is decreasing the gap between the inspiratory pressure and peep so understanding this let's see how my resident was he able to solve the problem or not? So I'm gonna play the video and let's see what he did. So he's playing with the inspiratory pressure, he dropped the inspiratory pressure, and now he's playing with the inspiratory time as you see. So he decrease this to 15 and he dropped the inspiratory time to 9 look at this this dropped 
almost 200 mil in tidal volume. So basically, we were able to drop his tidal volume from 600 something to 477 by decreasing the inspiratory pressure and decreasing the inspiratory time and we were able able to reach the desired tidal volume and see he didn't touch the peep here he decreased the gap he did not just decrease both so it's the gap that matter not just the pure inspiratory pressure number thanks for watching this video please subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so you get to see the videos as soon as they are released glad to have you on board